Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Bedrock Survival. In today's episode we're going to have a look at one of the very first builds that I built in this world so I want to actually um, spawned in and that is the 2x2 house. Um, now this is the original one that I built, uh, it was my little starter base, uh, but today we're going to head over to the redstone testing warehouse and I'm going to show you an improvement that we can make to the 2x2 house uh, thanks to the villager and pillager update. So let's hop on over to the redstone testing warehouse. Is it coming into view? Ooh, more of these, um, Mr. Me6 is uh, leaving all of his animals lying around everywhere. <laughs> Sorry, um, now that we're over at the Redstone Warehouse, one thing we like to do is build cross sections. So we are outside here and here we can see the insides of our 2x2 house. Now I know what you're thinking, it, technically it's a 4x4 and you're completely right um, because uh, we have to take into account the walls but you have a 2x2 space to live in inside and this is a really good starter home. So let's hop up here. So here we are on the surface of your world. So you've got your, you know, the trees, a little plants, little orchard area uh, that you can have. And here we have our um, two by two ish starter home. So let's go in and have a little look. Or actually, first we'll have a little look around the outside. So you see here, just like basically like a little booth. But um, in order to maximise the space inside, uh, we have used the uh, trap doors because if you place them very carefully. You can make an extra void space. Now, we could take this all the way around, but I did want to make a little bit more of a, um, a different sort of look. And we do also want some glass so that we can see out. So when we come out, we can have a look around and see a little bit if there is uh, any danger before we before we leave our house. So anyway, let's go in and take a look at the 2x2-ish uh, starter home. So if we just hop in here, we can step forward, we can come in, we can close the door. Of course, as well here, you can open these and if you've... Oops, if you've got, say, your bow and arrow, you can always uh, tack any enemies out of there. Um, just close those up. Uh, you could, you kind of said you could put these all the way around if you wished. Uh, but let's see what we actually have in here. So we have the, the basic gear that you're going to need when you have your uh, first starter homes. We have our crafting bench and we have a furnace. Now, what I've done here with the furnace, though, is I have built two hoppers. Uh, now, normally, when you wanted to feed large amounts into a furnace, of course, you would have a chest on top of a hopper. But if just being a starter home, let's say you go out mining, you have a couple of stacks of things, and you just want to let it all process, rather than having to come and feed in the stacks manually, or if you have multiple items, you might have some iron and gold that you want to smelt. So having a hopper on the top here just gives you five extra slots to play with. So it's just a, a little bit uh, just to, to get you started when you, when you first start in your world. And then, of course, underneath, we have another hopper that you can just see there, and that feeds into this chest here. So everything can just go in there. You don't have to worry about taking it out because it'll all just drop down into there. So you've got plenty, plenty of room. So, moving on, one of the good things about the Villager and Pillager update is storage. Uh, we can now make loads of extra storage, and we can incorporate it into the design of our little house. So if I just go down the ladders here, you'll see what I've done is we have the new block, the barrel. And what I've done is I've made the accessible sections of the walls into barrels because unlike chests, which have to have a transparent or uh, like void airspace above, uh, then otherwise you can't open them. The barrel blocks, you can open them from any angle. And if you just squeeze past the hitbox of that chest, you can get into that one there. So excellent for storage. You'll have no problem storing all of your various ores and foods and everything in these. And the barrels are really easy to make. Let's just hop up to our crafting bench. So we can stand up here on this chest. You can also stand on that ledge there. If I just yep, hop down there, you can get to there as well. So let's just stand here. Uh, of course, you can see as well outside. So we'll just hop on here. And to build a barrel, uh, all you need is two pieces of wood. So let's pop those in there. And we'll get our eight pieces there. And then we want to convert some of this into eight sticks. So you have to convert it twice. You don't actually need all eight. Uh, and then in addition, you also need two of the uh, the slabs. And then all you want to do with these is pop them in like that. And there you go. Got a barrel out of uh, two um, two uh, log uh, log blocks even. <laughs> 
So you can get some of those and you can pop those and build your wall out of it. Now there are other things that you could of course put into this space. I mean I've put a light here, you could put an anvil up here if you wished. Um, I didn't really bother with an anvil very early on in the game. I didn't have any real need for one at the start. Uh, I was just, you know, I didn't have any enchantments. So I was just using, you know, the, the iron tools and then disposing of them. Uh, or, or in my case, I was actually throwing the the broken iron tools back into the furnace so that I could get um, the uh, the little nuggets. Uh, and then eventually, when you get go through enough of those, you can then turn that into an iron block, which you can then eventually turn back into a uh, another axe. So um, I don't really, uh, I don't really see the use for an anvil early game. I think that's uh, that, that's more like a, a, a you know you, you've established yourself in the world, then you can start repairing the tools, or at least if, or if you've got diamond tools, uh, then yeah, definitely you want to uh, keep those repaired. So let's have another little spy down here. So you can see there you've got your bed. There's plenty of light down here. Uh, with this being a cross section as well, <laughs> let's just go up here. You see, it's really easy just to get out. Um, bit of lag there on the door opening uh, so let's just close that up there and let's take a little look from the outside uh, I should really maybe just get another block of scaffold and we'll pop it along the bottom there and I should have some in here yep so let's have a little quick run along here and there you go so you can see a little bit more detail there uh, just from the cross section design of the uh, of this uh, 2 by 2 start home uh, so that the really easy to build technically yes you are digging out a uh, a 4 by 4 area uh, and the walls are going to be your storage and if you want even more room up here i mean you could you could have um like, like a little fishing area because you've got these here that you can open when you're up here we well, you could put a uh, bucket of water in here and you could fish from here I, I know that afk fishing is not a thing in uh, in bedrock but still you could you could easily sit, sit in there if we just come down here and you could fish out of this and you're in uh, relative safety i would say uh, of course if anything comes all you've got to do is quickly close up that you know you grab your bow and you can take them out so everyone, that is our 2x2 two two starter home. So what happens next as you expand your base and you need to, um, you know, you gather more resources, you need to expand, you get new tools. Uh, what happens next? So from this little 2x2 two two starter home, you could expand it a little bit. Just take out this bit of glass. And here we have an extension built onto our 2x2 starter home. So you can see here there's a lot more facilities in there, a lot more uh, storage. Um, so let's go and take a look inside of this one. So let's go up here. You will notice one floor as well as we go in, uh, and that is with the ladders. Uh, in an ideal world, the ladders would be on this side. However, you can't place ladders on um, on glass. So at the moment, you have to imagine that these ladders are running down this wall. So anyway, so we'll come down into our two by two starter home. So we've got our little bit of storage area here. And then we have an extension onto that uh, base. So this is this as we expand over time. Uh, we have, still again, a crafting bench. We have our um, furnace and at this time we have well i have one hopper which is underneath this one and you see here that this uh, well the floor first of all is uh, all barrels again so the entire floor is storage and uh, i do think it would create quite a nice a nice little effect on the floor it just it reminds me of like a, a railway line really uh, <laughs> uh with the uh, the barrel texture um but you see here this one i've placed in the wrong direction and that is just to signify to us that this barrel is um connected to where uh, this furnace so anything that's processed through there will drop down into the bottom here so you see you've got lots of traditional storage you know with your um Oh, that's a, that's a more, more black concrete. That's where it went. <laughs> the uh, so we've got uh, you know traditional storage with the chests. We have lots of barrels. You can just see a brief frame there of the uh, the barrel being opened. Um, so you can see uh, absolutely loads of storage in here. Uh, and plus as well as you advance more in the game, so you see now you see we've advanced more, so we now have the anvil. Uh, and I've also popped a brewing station in here as well. And of course you've got a uh, end chest which has all of your bits and bobs in that you can use to take wherever wherever you need and as well uh, we can also have there's plenty of space in here to have an array of uh, shulker boxes so you could gather up whatever you need from here pop it into one of these boxes and tap it off the ceiling and then you're away on your adventures and speaking of that 
as well because we're underground maybe you don't want to go up to the surface maybe it's dangerous it's not well lit up above your uh, above your base um rather than going out here you can always there's plenty of room in here to pop a trap door and then you're away down into your rare uh, mining tunnels so let's just pop back out here so there we go so let's just pop that uh, box now back up on the ceiling so of course you know when you come back it's a case of just pop the boxes up there you can unload the materials uh, you could also i suppose we could put a hopper on top of here and that would uh, allow you to have you know just come back and drop a uh, shulker box on top of there uh, additionally as well in this space here we could also put a uh, another shulker box or just indeed another chest or um barrel and fill that with fuel and have a hopper going in underneath so you could have a, a mini automatic smelter in fact let's uh, let's quickly dip away gather up some resources and pop that in okay so we've made that quick modification to uh, the system here so here we are in our little starter uh, starter extension base and um, see there it's pouring down with rain outside but of course we wouldn't see that because we're underground so here you see we have the uh, you know that the, the uh, anything that's smelted is going to pass through into there we have access to this chest at the back and we can drop our fuel in if we just take that block that i must have uh, carved out earlier on uh, and you can see there the uh, the fuel slowly drips in and i just have a chest of cobblestone here and what i'll do is i'll just pop that there and you can see there so you can come in with your rare uh, materials dump them on the top there and that will slowly get processed i'm not sure if the blast furnace makes cobblestone any faster i don't think it does i think the blast furnace i think that's just for the ore blocks uh but, but either way you know you, you could put any you could have an array of each of the new furnace uh, furnace types uh, as you progress i don't actually think that's, that's that really intensive to make isn't it oh there you go so you you just need a furnace uh, some smooth stone which is what we are generating down here isn't it uh, let's see i think to get the really smooth stone do you not have to yeah yeah that's right <laughs> remembering myself here with these new blocks so that should give us when it's done it seems to take quite a while to do that one and yeah that would give us there so so yeah so you, you can you can make a blast furnace as well you just need to um, get your cobblestone smelt that and then put it back through the smelter again to where uh, to get the um the smooth stone actually uh oh i don't have any iron with me actually we have some iron in the um in the base we could make one of those as well couldn't we yep let's just take a little bit of that because i can just put it back later Always got stuck in a block. That's one thing as well I've noticed with since this update is there is a lot of getting stuck in blocks. So what do we need there? So we have some smooth stone. Uh, we will need a little bit of cobble just to make the uh, the blast furnace. And um, what are we short? Oh, of course, yep, yeah, one furnace. <laughs> So just uh, make our furnace, which is just your cobbles. So that's going to be very, very, very early game. And then from there, you can make a blast furnace. And let's just pop that block down so we can get a look at it. Oop. Shift if you're going to put it. That's one thing as well, if you want to place a block anywhere in here, because all of these are accessible, make sure you press shift if you want to click on the floor. Uh, so yeah, so that's the, uh, the little blast furnace block. Um, so yeah, you could have that in here as well. I mean where you've got like some well i've put some little decorations you could put this entire wall there's different furnaces because of course you have uh, in addition to that you have the smoker which is for food uh let's see where is that one so there you go so if you add some logs with a furnace in the middle and that gives you the smoker uh, and generally with these ones well these sort of uh they do do the ores like in half the time um let's just give it a, a little experiment we'll take a little bit of fuel out of the back there i don't think that it can do um no no it, it, it can't do those ones uh, i don't have actually any ores on me to uh, to test it um and most of the mines in this area have been cleared out uh, <laughs> well never, never mind that's it's, it's uh, something like that's for for another day there that that wasn't the purpose of our of our uh, video today because today as i said we are looking at the two by two starter hoe 
uh, and the uh, the extension so so you start off your world you can build a little two by two starter home you have all the basics uh, you have storage which is uh, quite easy to get you've got of course a bed so you can sleep um, let's just sleep through the day there Oh, it mustn't be uh, just ready through the day now. I thought it might have been night. So, yeah, so you've got this here. And then as you expand your base, uh, simply dig further to the side. So here we have a, a much bigger chamber. So we can spread out, you know, we've decorated a bit here. You know, we've got loads of storage because, as I said, these barrel blocks uh, make, I think, quite an interesting floor. I mean, you could do them all like crisscross patterns, maybe, so that they're, they're not all in a straight line. Um, I'll, you know, I'll leave that sort of thing for you to decide for your world. Uh, but you know, the, the, as you expand, you can get more and more storage in here. Uh, you can, of course, dig down to either make extra levels or to go down into your mining areas. Uh, you have all the main tools that you need there. So we've got our brewing station here. We have our rare uh, anvil, uh, an end chest with some. Uh, just wait a minute. I actually haven't got that much in there at the minute. Ah, I've got a box of. I, I keep wondering where I put these things. And of course, we've got an emergency kit which has a spare set of all of our tools in. Um, Let's just have a look. So I haven't opened one of these for ages because I have two emergency kits where I replicated most of my gear. Um, yeah, so in my emergency kit here, this is actually all the kit to build a mini house uh, that I, I think I might have to demo sometime because it's, uh, it's all the gear just to build a nice little outpost home. Uh, but anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I'm just going to leave that there to smelt some of that because I might as well take some of that back to the base as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, favourite and subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like this, making little starter homes, uh, building little bases, just let me know. Uh, but also, if you remember uh, back at the beginning of the episode, we are uh, also looking for, uh, for names for all of these animals here because I don't want them to despawn and I don't know what to call any of them. So suggestions in the comments. <laughs> so uh, there we go. Um, these are all the different animals here that we have to name. Uh, one thing as well, because I have been inundated with uh, Mr. Meeseeks, these traders, uh, I have uh, managed to collect some of his uh, llamas because uh, he's despawned and he's leaving his llamas everywhere. So let's hop back up here. So there we go, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if, as I say, if you want to see me do more builds like this, uh, we do have plenty of room here at the Redstone Testing Warehouse. Uh, so don't forget to rate, comment, favourite and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.